Our top story, the car of a left-wing German politician was bombed overnight. His constituency, the eastern city of Freital, recently saw mass anti-refugee protests. Artis Peter Oliver has the latest. Well, this whole incident comes against a backdrop of increasing acts of violence and protests against uh, Germany taking more refugees. Um, the area in which it took place, the town of Freital, which is just outside of Dresden, is really the, the hotbed of neo-Nazi and far-right extremist groups. And now, the politician who this particular attack uh, targeted, who had his car blown up, Michael Richter, now he's the chairman of the left party, one of the main opposition parties here in Germany, in the town of Haital. Uh, and um, he had been very vocal and very involved in the pro-refugee groups, saying basically that Germany should do more to take more refugees and that Europe as a whole should do more to help those people that are arriving via boats or via land into Europe, some of these people taking extreme risks in order, in order to do that. Um, now, what the uh, politician himself, what Michael Lichter had to say was that he felt that he had become top of the hit list for neo-Nazi groups in that region. Now, the investigation into what happened is still ongoing right now, and the police, the latest we heard from the police, is they have no direct links to uh, far-right groups in that area. However, um, it seems very clear to Michael Richter himself and um, many other commentators, both on social media um, and in the newspapers on the news here, that it seems that it was directly linked to his work in promoting Germany as a safe haven and to make Germany a better place for refugees to try and come to. A Euro correspondent there. We'll bring you a bit more of the backstory here to this region. In June, far-right groups staged a number of anti-refugee protests, actually in Freital, with some resulting in violence and standoffs with police. We covered those protests and how those opposing the far-right reacted at the time. Rebuffing the rallies, then local artists created a series of placards that are now displayed across the city. They denounce the spread of the far right and call for an end to racism. Some mock the neo-Nazis, claiming they secretly enjoy traditional Middle Eastern food, for instance, and describe them too, some of them as opposite of foxes, i.e. acting clever but being really dumb. Well, Freitel's not the only German city where far right groups have been gaining momentum of late either.